Hi, today I will present you how I mount the NVMe drive into the PCI adapter. Okay, so slowly like that and like that. And you can see I have this on my desk and it's a PCI Express M2 NVMe adapter. It's for actually NVMe drive and I you will see that it's a PCE NVMe N O N01 version 006S and you can see exactly this on your screen. So here we go. You should be able to see this. Lovely. Now I will present you a crucial NVMe drive. It's a P3 Plus series one terabyte and this is version 4.0M and it's a 2280 model. So we should see we have a 2280 model and it should work like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just mounting it like that slowly. Excellent. And now I need a driver and need to mount it like lovely. The way we are doing it. And now what we need to do, we need to revert it back like that. And then we need to mount it, it this way. And I'm going to present it in a moment. There we go. Like that into this slot. You can see. And we need to push it a little bit harder. Excellent. And now it fits the board. It took me about half an hour to find information in the internet and to figure out how to make it work. But first of all, what you need to do um, after you mounted uh, the NVMe drive into the PCI Express card, you need to just boot up the operating system, the CM4 board and with CM4 compute module. And I already provided in the previous video how to flash EMMC drive just because you need to be sure that the NVMe drive is detected by your operating system. So this is the crucial step. So let's switch to the command line and I will present you what is going on there. So here we go. First of all, it's good to check the version of the firmware. So March 17, uh, 2023 is pretty fine. I know that there is a better release version uh, from May 2023, but I'm not doing it. I'm not actually flashing with the beta release of the firmware, my EMMC. And that's okay for now. The next step is you need to use the LSBLK key command and you can see there is a NVMe drive detected and 931 giga almost a one terabyte the size is correct and um the most important thing that you need to use blkid command just to show the label and find the UID. UID is a uh, important thing that is good to have. So I really recommend to just select everything and just control shift C to copy it somewhere to a notepad who have all those information about this. Why you actually need it. I will record then a separate video about this, how to reflash with uh, RPI mm, boot uh, the uh, actually MMC, the, the, the bootloader actually, because um, currently it is booting up from EMMC drive. So um, there is an option to um, make it uh, 
work with NVMe drives. So what you have to do in the beginning, you need to change the boot order and in the config file. So I will present it how to do it. And the second step that is much harder um, can be done uh, in a two ways. One option is to find out how to use RPI clone, the modified version of RPI clone um, to actually clone the content of the EMMC storage into your NVMe. I am not sure it works just because um, it can be problematic, so I will have to figure it out. Is it probably uh, doable? And the second option is to find out is there a way to just install the actually operating system using the uh, RPI imager. Just because um, I should be able to do that, but I will have to find out if it's possible to make it work with the NVMe drive. So wish me good luck and we will see in the next video about this, just because all of those things are very problematic. So that's uh, something that you need to look for the information, you need to test, you need to check, and then you will be able to do that. So let's see in the next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.